Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Roba. Yo! But then again, my ID, manze, uh, is Robert Ndungunjiru. Uh, what I do, uh, I teach dance for a living. Uh, I do dance. And uh, my inner fire, I'd say, is, you know, like knowing God and knowing he's there for me and knowing that he got my back. Uh, at times, it is not easy as a young person, you know, growing up and having a vision, having a purpose. Uh, you need a place where you can, you know, plug and 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 you know ensure that you know where you're headed. So I'm grateful to be here, and yeah, that's me. My passion is seeing other people grow from where they are, uh, in terms of growing someone or in terms of mentoring someone to be the better version of who they are. My passion when it comes to dance, it is because I found purpose in dance. So. When I cleared high school, we were just doing dance for fun. But then again, I didn't know that it would pay my bills. So, um, sometime back when I was a teenager, we were just doing it for fun. After high school, you get two or three gigs. But then again, there's a school we went and we did some dance projects and we were paid a lot of money. And it was my first time to get a check. And it had so many zeros. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. So that means this can be my career. So. Uh, I fell in love with dance and I didn't know that it would pay my bills now. Uh, when I was starting, it, didn't, it was a little bit vague because I didn't have a clear vision of what I want to do. But when I took time to really study dance because I had to research more about dance, um, every time on YouTube I was like, hey, who's the best dancer, no, you know? Like, how can I grow? Which is the new, the new move, you know? which is the new step that I need to learn because as a dancer, as a creative, as a professional dancer, I need to add my dance vocabulary and I need to understand when it comes to dance, how do I get more clients, you know, how do I make my dance to be professional and for me I'd say dance is everything to me uh, because um, it pays my bills uh, and it helps me connect to my purpose because when I teach people I get to, you know, to give what I have inside of me and to be able to, you know, find purpose. And again, as a young person, you need to understand your purpose. Okay, why are you on earth? Why are you breathing? You know, like I ask myself so many questions of which I find myself, you know, getting more answers through dance. My best advice. Uh, there's a friend of mine, he's called Pastor Mose. Uh, he usually tells me there's nothing, you're nothing without Jesus. Like you're nothing. Like. You're nothing, and I'd, I'd say, I'd say, through time and time, I came to realize, hey, by the way, because at times, you know, when when you're young, growing up, you didn't, you don't have an idea of Christianity. Uh, you used to go to church maybe because of your parents or because in school everyone is going to see you, you know. Um, at the back, my my life was pretty much messed up because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what I want, so I used to do everything I want. But then again. When I met up with Pastor Mose, um, in terms of dance, he used to tell me, Robert, even with your dance, there's no way you're going without Christ. So I think that was my best advice. Uh, can I share another one? Yes, uh, there's a friend of mine, he's called Paul. Uh, he's my best friend when it comes to dance. Uh, he told me not to give up on my skill because when I started dance, I was off. You know, um, I loved dance, but then again, I wasn't really good at it. But then again, he was like, Roba, you don't need to stop. Keep moving, regardless of what. Keep moving, keep training yourself, and become the best version of yourself. Yes, I was saying here, in terms of uh, reaching out, and there's a, there's a dance organization that I'm part of. It's called Dance Mtani. So for Dance Mtani, we use dance primarily to reach to different societies out there. So there's one project we did in Dandora and another one in Kawangware. So the idea we go to these settlements where people think that they are not cool enough and we teach them dance, we teach them the basics of dance, where dance came from, where dance originated from. We educate more about dance and we reach out to these different communities. Uh, for Dance Mtani, we've been able to reach out to different organizations and reach out and teach dance and I'd say we were able to fungo and jia for those guys in Dandora and they were able to really understand hey by the way Kumbe I can dance and earn something out of it maybe I can dance and be positive because some of the ghetto spaces people think that when you do dance 
uh, you have to be high or when you do dance you have to steal from someone but then again when you do dance it's a it's a platform for you to express what you feel uh, because in dance we have different emotions uh, you can express anger you can express happiness you can express different emotions that you go through so i'd say